Greetings from South China. I'm Mike Bellamy, founder of the Passage Maker Group and guest lecturer over at the China Sourcing Academy. I've been living in Asia full-time since 1993, and today I'd like to share with you some of the lessons I learned the hard way over those years. If you're not worried about doing quality control because you think you can send the defects back to China, think again. Unfortunately, this is one of the biggest headaches when dealing in China. Um, the border control system in China is designed such that it makes it very difficult to get defective goods back into China, even if the overseas buyer has clear paper trail and the full support of the original supplier in China. It's still going to be hard, perhaps impossible. For your reference, a Chinese friend of mine who worked down at the port in the customs office told me that the Chinese government was concerned that if they allowed defective merchandise to be returned into China duty-free, some companies would inevitably take advantage by declaring that legitimate in imports were defective and avoid paying tax. So that's why the Chinese government is out there making it very hard to um, allow defective merchandise back into the country. So as far as I know, there is no official channel for sending back the goods and avoiding paying the VAT, the value added tax, or the inbound duties as these products cross back into China. Adding insult to injury, the goods may be subject to China outbound taxes again after the shipment has taken place, after the product has been reworked or fixed. And you might even have to pay the inbound taxes and duties into your home country when these reworked or replaced shipments are reshipped back to you. Did I just hear you scream in frustration? But don't give up yet, I have some ideas for you. Obviously, we should do our best to avoid quality problems up front by auditing our suppliers before we place the order and by doing product inspections before the goods ship out and doing that inspection before you make that final payment. Keep in mind that if you don't have time to fly to China and do it yourself, inspection agents can conduct independent audits and inspections for only a few hundred US dollars. So there's really no excuse for not checking the quality of our orders before the goods clear outbound China customs. Another good idea is to have clear terms in your contract about how defective merchandise is to be handled. But despite the best intentions, defects do happen. Now what to do? Well, here are some tools. First, how much would it cost for the supplier to make a replacement shipment? Do the defects that have already arrived in your home country have any value? Can they be scrapped or sold as B-grade goods? How much would it cost for you to fix the defective items, if this is possible, in your home market? With those numbers on hand for reference, here are a range of options to talk to the supplier. Hope one helps you. Send the defects back. Let the supplier eat the cost of the return, rework, and replacement. But be very careful that this supplier will be around to complete the transaction and that you have a lot of leverage and some history together. I've seen more than a few suppliers simply pass on doing business with a client ever again rather than do what is right and replace the goods. Rework the goods in your home market with local technicians. If you're on the east coast of the USA, know that there is a great nonprofit organization called Hilltop Industries that specializes in reworking defective product that has arrived in the US from China. You can always scrap the defects and get a credit on the next order. And if all else fails and your supplier isn't stepping up to the plate to fix problems or saying they can't afford to fix it, know that I have had many suppliers suddenly come up with cash once a lawsuit was pending. Keep in mind in China that you can sue for lost revenue. Since you probably were expecting to add a healthy margin when you sold the goods to your clients, that lost revenue is a big stick you can use as leverage over your supplier. On that note, as always, I sign off wishing you successful sourcing in China. If you found the information on this video and the seminar series useful, please return the favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that like button, and post some comments. Or check out my blogs and monthly newsletters. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via LinkedIn. I'm easy to find and happy to help. You can check me out at the China Sourcing Academy or visit any of my company's websites.